So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome to this tutorial in which we're going to create a fully functional NPM package and publish it to NPM as well so that um, you can distribute the command like if you have used JavaScript for a while you must have seen that people say like install this package like NPM install um, anything like uh, nodemon for example you do this right so who coded this package or the person who coded nodemon has put this code online on npm right so how do you actually put your code your modules online so that you can say to people like if you do npm install nodemon dash dash save then uh, that code gets downloaded into node modules folder and then they can import it from node modules and make use of it so let's just create an npm module here really quick so first of all let's just create a directory which just says npm hello world and this would be a simple package so first of all what you need to do to publish to npm is you need to have a package.json file so i'm gonna do an npm init here and uh, let's just keep the package name version same description this is hello world um, index.js fine git repository you can add a git repository if you want otherwise add it later as well it just pretty much shows up in your npm package page that this package also has a git repository so if you want to check out contribute fork uh, clone whatever so they can do that so i'm gonna leave it blank here keywords can be like npm npm hello world something like that you can write your name here and license is fine yes okay so now if we take a look you can see that we have package.json file ready with us now what I want to do is um, actually open this package.json file or rather this full folder inside our um, sublime text so right here you can see that the entry point is index.js for us so what I want to do is quickly create index.js file here right and there we are so now what I want to do is uh, let's just say pretty much I want to create a function which uh, returns me um, I don't know let's just say uh, area of a circle so we can code that so what I want to do is say module dot exports here is a function um, which is uh, radius and once we get the radius what I want to do is return well that would be uh, very simple I think pi r square pi R squared um, yeah well your modules won't be that short but uh, yeah for this one we're gonna keep it only that so I can just name it area so that we can add some different things here as well like uh, perimeters basically you can create a kind of uh, circle related module which includes all the inbuilt methods to know information about a particular circle given that its radius is something so well you can actually use of make use of classes here as well to make things a lot easier so anyways to keep it simple I'm just gonna keep it to these two lines and inside packet.json we already have our um, main script uh, main file as script now we can just remove this thing from here because it's not required and now what I want to do is actually <coughs> login into npm right so publishing packages you need to have an npm account so if you're a first time user what you want to do is say npm add user and hit enter and it will ask you for your username and your password once you do that um, I guess it asks for your email address as well. Yeah, so it asks for your email address. You need to verify your email address. Once you verify that, um, then your account is active. So I already have an account there. So I won't 
create another one so if you have an account here you can do npm login to login into your account but before that if you think you have already signed in before you can run npm who am i to actually know who you are so you can see that i have i'm already signed into the npm package uh, okay so someone was here anyways so uh where were we npm who am i gives me the username with which i am registered on npm right and uh, yeah so you can log in into your account by npm login entering your username and password i guess it was something like i don't remember exactly this could be wrong yeah mail mpt let's see okay so yeah so once you have logged in what you want to do is publish the package now how do you publish it first of all write npm version now you can see that npm version gives you npm hello world with a version of one which is exactly the version here you can update the version here as well so you can say like if you made some changes you want to update the version to 1.01 you do like this and your npm's module version now becomes 1.01 as you can see now what if you want to publish this module what you want to do is write npm publish now before that you have to make sure that the name of your module here the name of your module here is unique because you cannot have two modules with the same name right so to make it unique i'm just adding some random garbage to it and i hope that nobody has done a tutorial like this before so nobody has created this um, package name and yep so let's just revert back to version 1.0 and there we are now i can just publish by hitting npm publish and just wait for it to publish for me on the internet okay package name triggered spam detection okay <laughs> so these guys have some filters uh, so we can add something like npm hello world example code dam and then I can hit npm publish here and let's just see what they have got So it's still publishing. Let's just give this guy a moment. This shouldn't be that long, I guess. Let's just try one more time. Okay, so you can see that our package was added to the npm repository i can go at the npm site i can search for this package and uh, okay so it might not be indexed yet but i can go to my profile and i can see that i have npm hello world example code dam as the package and you can see that this package has no readme so what you want to do as an update is add a readme.md file here and uh, let's just say this it's just an example example package and uh, this would be removed soon don't worry so readme or md contains all of your information at this time you want to git uh, add and the git commit and all that stuff because you have made some changes but since we don't have a git repository here i'm gonna leave that part so now if we take a look at npm version i want to update this to version 1.0.1 .1. it's done and i i'm gonna publish it again now when you publish it again it will just um you know update the package online so now if you reload this see it's 1.0.0 right now and it becomes 1.0.1 .1. and you get your readme here perfect now let's just go back a little and delete this directory here let's just create um, let's just say this is my project uh, work. I open my project work 
and I do npm init of y, which is regularly what users would do. Now what I want to do is I want to install this package. Right? And I can just save it as well. Close the sublime text for now. Uh, let me just close all of this. Right, so yep and now we can open the directory you can see our package.json is here now i'm going to create an index.js file here and what i'm going to say is import uh import or require whatever syntax you want to make use of you can i'm going to go with require for this one so i'm going to say constant uh, area and perimeter perimeter is require npm hello world example code down and what I can do is console log um, area of uh, a circle with a radius one that should be just pi and console log um, perimeter of circle with radius uh, it's 2 pi r right so if we pass in half that should give us pi okay so if I node index.js now you can see that we get the value of pi in both the cases which was expected because inside our module you can see that this is the installed module we have the radius as uh, uh, area as this thing and perimeter as this thing so we just cancelled out uh, radius by uh, putting one here and this two by putting radius half here right so that is how pretty much you would put your module your work online on npm and it's as simple as that easy free everything good is mostly free yeah so that's all for this one and if you liked it then please don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching and i'll see you then in some other video